Uh, so we're six weeks out from nationals. Uh, last video log I talked about some changes in my meal plan and some different things that I was doing. So today I thought I would take you through exactly what I'm eating for each meal and uh, explain things a little bit since it's not exactly a conventional contest prep diet. Uh, and then I also want to talk about my supplementation as well. So for meal number one, I have uh, a steak and spinach salad. And I also have a seed medley in that as well. I have, there are sesame seeds, chai seeds, and hemp hearts. And then I also put some ground flax seed as well. And then I shake up the whole salad. For dressing, I use a teaspoon of olive oil, lemon juice, and vinegar. And I have this after my morning cardio. For meal number two, I have a piece of haddock, so fish. I have a little bit of berries. I have strawberries and blueberries here. These will be gone at four weeks out, unfortunately. And then I either have a mixture of nuts and seeds. In here I have pecans, walnuts, pumpkin seeds, and sunflower seeds. Or I will have, it's this little, it's called a breakfast cereal that I found. It's called Skinny Bee. Uh, it's gluten-free, lactose-free, vegan, high in fiber. And what it has is uh, chai seeds, hemp hearts, and some buckwheat. And I have two tablespoons of it, and I mix it with a little bit of unsweetened almond milk. And the almond milk gets absorbed, and it makes uh, a little pasty cereal. I put some cinnamon in, and it's actually really, really good. So that is a fat source if I don't uh, have the nuts, just to switch things up a little bit. So for lunch, um, just a plain old boring um, boiled chicken breast, some asparagus, and then some celery and cucumber. I always have bags of these, tons of them, cut up and put into the fridge. I like to consider celery and cucumber sort of free food since there's nothing in them. So I usually snack on these all day long or if I'm hungry, in between meals, stuff like that. So for meal number three in the after, or meal number four in the afternoon, I have half of an avocado, but I make it into avocado pudding, which I put out a video log myself on my own YouTube channel a little while ago about this. Um, I make it into chocolate pudding, but in my other video I had said that I put in protein powder, which I'm not anymore since I took protein powder out of my diet. So it's half of an avocado, I put two tablespoons of raw organic cocoa, and then a little bit of almond milk. Mix it all up in a magic bullet and it makes this really good pudding because I don't like avocado but it's so good for you and it's such a great source of fat. But putting a little bit of cocoa, um, you completely disguise the taste of it. So for, di for, for dinner, I have, it's a ground turkey breast. Like I had said in my last video, I get, it's pure turkey breast that's ground, it's organic, hormone free. So I get that, and then I have asparagus, and then again, some more celery and cucumbers. And then before bed, uh, I'll have another piece of fish. So that's what I'm eating in a day. It's not, uh, like I had said before, I took out all my complex carbs, and it's just a really high fat diet. And I'm sort of taking it as it comes. Um, I'm really comfortable with where my body is right now, so I can play around with my diet a little bit. I took my six weeks out progress pictures and I compared them to my last prep, which I always do for provincials, and I look like I'm about two weeks out right now. So I have lots of time to play with my diet. I wanted to come in a little bit leaner and tighter than my last show, so you know that will definitely happen if everything goes on track. Now as far as supplementation, uh, I always start my morning off with a greens product. Uh, greens are great, uh, they keep you alkaline. Uh, which you know your body can become very acidic in, when you're dieting so and then you get so many sources of um, vitamins as well and since I had taken out my protein powder so for post-workout I also have a greens product um, every time I have a greens product I also put my glutamine in it which is a glutamine complex that uh, Fusion put out for uh, my morning cardio and for my training at night, I have my BCAAs. 
Uh, this is the Agent M, the grape flavor. It's really good. And the thing I love about Fusion's product is that there's no um, maltodextrin in in their product, which a lot of flavor products will have. And maltodextrin, it's it's from corn and it doesn't settle well with a lot of people, and especially myself. It makes me really bloated and really cramps my stomach. So I'm really glad that that's not in there. Before my morning cardio, uh, I love Foo Bar. It's actually, it's a pre-workout, but I actually love it before my cardio. It really sort of takes me to another place and uh, allows me to get through that cardio session. Uh, so Q is a fat burner. I haven't implemented this yet, but I probably will at four weeks out. And uh, omega oils, whether you're doing a show or not, omega oils should be such an important part of anybody's supplement regimen. Uh, they're great for helping you burn fat, good for your joints, um, omega oils in general, fish oils are just such a great, great product. Um, now these are two products that um, I actually just started probably about three months ago. And Zen Theanian, this actually really improves my mood, it wakes me up without having that stimulant feeling. And I know within the last month of getting ready for a show, you can get really tired. Uh, it's really hard to stay motivated. And, you know, this really, 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 really brought me around. So I love it. Um, Ortho Adapt is, it's an adrenal support. Uh, like I was talking about in the last video log, uh, you know, your hormones are so important in trying to keep them all level when you're dieting for a show, especially your adrenal glands, which secrete cortisol. So if you're training and you're dieting really hard and your body's under stress and you get really fatigued adrenal glands and you start secreting a lot of cortisol, then you'll really have trouble losing that abdominal fat. So an adrenal support is also very important. So yeah, in a little nutshell, that is what I'm eating and that is what I do for my basic supplementation. Uh, there's other stuff that I throw in like multivitamin, vitamin C, vitamin E, but uh, these are the really important. Yeah, so stay tuned for my next video log. I'm gonna get you in the gym and I'm gonna take you through uh, working out my favorite muscle group. Uh, what that is, you'll have to wait and see.